Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. It's time for this. It's time for the dove's resplendence. Resplendence is a word that means glory, and glorious is his glory. And that's a that's a yay and amen for anyone that walks in the uh, utter gospel truth, the truth that God's love has transcended all mankind, and the truth that there is no darkness but ignorance alone. So be part of the pride, the name of a family of lions. Be part of the pride of the Lion of Zion who is roaring louder than ever before. Let down your manes. And uh, real or imagined, if you like me, go get a haircut and put on your love hat. And love from love, hope from hope. And peace from peace. May you have open arms to receive because what has been perceived as but a drop of his love has always contained an uh, uh, ocean of his adoration far beyond the understanding. In the latter days, it is written in Jeremiah 31 that God was going to give the earth and all mankind um, his latter day covenant. And it was promised, it says so, Jeremiah 31 1 and 30 24. And in these days, his ver voice of mercy resounds and he says I will be your God you will be my people I will forgive your iniquity I shall never remember it son of Satan to the pit for a thousand years as foretold and uh, praise God free at last free at last spiritual bondage can be no more so the glory is now blazing away as love arises as a great inferno sending forth his refiner's fire to uh, burn down uh, all former understandings, to get rid of the gross darkness of Isaiah 60. The cosmos now declares the greatest glory of God as our firmament proclaims the work of his nail-scarred, rugged hands. Behold, the highest spark of his least radiant glory transforms us into a supernatural wave of the ocean of his love that's anxious to flow back unto he who is our ocean of bliss that is our transcendent serenity and uh, he says unto one and all of us that we should not lean unto our own understanding for our righteousness has been as filthy rags it's never been about what we have done for him but what he has done for one and all of us. When uh, the Lord arises as the good shepherd of, over all the flocks of man, when all Israel becomes uh, the, the, the Lord's, uh, Romans 11, and uh, John 10, 15, 16, all the good shepherd of all the flocks of man, and all uh, the world becomes the Lord's Revelation 10, 7, all and all shall know me from the least to the greatest, Jeremiah 31, 5, uh, 35, 30, 31, 35, all. There is no other way to translate that word all. All, always means all. And know that we may now merge totally within him, all of us, all. Uh, as the word of God acts as a, the, his own pre, preordained refiner's fire of Malachi 4 that is lovingly falling upon us as a wild fire of knowledge in these days so that the wise may shine as the stars that we were fearfully and wonderfully made to be as Daniel 12 uh, foretold. There's that little light of mine and uh, Oh, where's my clock? 
it is 658 and it is going off now for three more days at 658 and then it'll drop to 657 and this little light of mine I'm gonna hold it up it's broken I never could turn it on anymore made in China there is a battery in there there's got to be a scientific reason for what's happening but it's a sign to the nations anyways because the truth is there's no way to turn on that light except to click it on click it off uh, I almost threw it away it stopped working and then I noticed that it was coming on every single day at the same time which would, might not be significant, but it is to me because God lit a lamp for Trudy Darlene and me, her brother, uh, for seven minutes, each of us individually, uh, to, uh, to prove that he was a God of uh, living, living God, a God of, of miracles and signs. And uh, so praise the Lord that, that that's foretold in Zechariah 3, 4, and 5. Zechariah 3, first God sets apart a derelict, a glue sniffer, uh, almost killing himself with the glue, bag of glue to his face. And then he lights one candlestick for the enlightenment, enlightenment of that uh, person. And then he sends forth the flying scroll, Zechariah 5, which is exactly the same writing that is foretold as the everlasting gospel. And if you don't believe that, uh, listen to the very first video under this channel. It sounds just like Moses, uh, because the Bible foretold that in the end days that a, a new gospel of creation would come. Revelation 10, 7 says so, and Deuteronomy 18, 18. Moses himself foretold another end time revelator, one like himself, um, a kingdom age covenant giver, um, another one gifted with the uh, gifting of prophecy uh, and I can tell you true that prophecy has never been told to uh, tell the future but to change it uh, precedent has been set in Jonah 3 that even after God told uh, uh, that everyone was going to be destroyed in Nineveh uh, they God relented it says so in Jonah 3 he changed his mind because they repented enough to satisfy him and I know what's going to turn this world around it's not by power nor by might, but by his spirit of love, saith the, the living Lord God. And a wild fire of, of love shall burn away our inner dross as we one by one resign from the world uh, and the land of the walking dead, whose love is only a noun, not an action. It is actually withering and dying daily. And uh, we must uh, stir it up, be born again, we must stir it up so it is in action. Love is not love until it is given away. And uh, only when it is a verb in action are we walking with the Spirit. If, if we're letting our love die, we would commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit at the, holy, at the other end, the unforgivable sin of letting our love light go out. And then we would perish everlastingly into a hell of non-existence as... Uh, a hell of our own manufacture. We would join Satan and we would be cast into there forever and ever. And uh, so as we salute Isa Yeshua Jesus with our own hands, extended in utter adoration, may the whole world embrace he who is the uh, good shepherd rising over all the flocks of men. He is the beloved, the blessed, the adored, our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, Emmanuel, God in the flesh coming back again soon unto all of us as we give him all the glory for uh, turning around the mess that this world has been in. Praise God for the trial of all flesh, not for it. God will deliver us from it, but God has been sending this world uh, his word of patience and the trial of all flesh foretold to come for these latter days, plainly written in Revelation 3. And it's come to bring God's word of patience to us, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. Because that is what heaven demands. If uh, Acts 3.21 says, if the restoration of his word in the end does not come, 
he would be kept in reserve in heaven and could not return. So it is important that we follow in the beating the sword into the sickle of Amos 9. That is the sickle of his word. And he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his own reaper. So praise the Lord that uh, the Lord is continually blazing away as a blinding inferno of kingdom age hope and peace set afire with his passion of love while he is now in these latter days pouring out his spirit of, of love upon multitudes as his blessings flow upon all children of obedience who can receive his empowerment and the glory, glory, glory shall evermore be lifted up unto the living word of God, the Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the earth for all mankind. So understand now also that God uses small matches, itty bitty small little tiny matches. God uses little ones. Uh, to light great torches as we await the fast approaching storm of heaven's fire uh, that will cleanse us as refiner's fire foretold in Malachi uh, that will cleanse us to our core when we come to realize that God has loved and always has and always will love every single one of us equally and it causes each uh, and every one of us by our own name if we will respond and all know him. Jeremiah 31, 35. All know him if they have their love light on. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, First John 4, 7. And it is those words that must go again with his everlasting gospel, of which I am the writer, to all people, to all tribes, to all lands, as the book of Revelation has foretold. So it's time then that our inner fires of passionate, uh, red-hot uh, love and peace for uh, good wishes for one another can become red hot and to have now in these days of understanding if we wanted to shine as the stars as Daniel 12 foretold for this hour of the latter day Daniel who I am and uh, that uh, our inner fires can burn with much more fervency than we ever thought was possible through understanding for God's people have always been destroyed by lack of knowledge Hosea 4 6 for now is the tense season of spiritual survival when every wise follower of truth will finally allow the fires of passion within them for hope. Uh, it's Michael Jackson's song, A Man in the Mirror. It starts with us. We got to become the peace and love that we want to see in the world. We have to each and one of us manifest it within ourselves. And these are the days of the healed the world that Michael Jackson sang of Isaiah 2. He sang about uh, the sword being uh, beat into the sickle. This is the unfolding of all that the prophets wrote of, the Hebrew prophets and all prophets of the world have all been spotlighting these changes to come because as it was in the beginning, so is it at the end. As great of a, a understanding shift as there was between the age of law and the age of grace, so too is there just as great of an understanding shift of God's unending, endless love uh, between the age of grace and the kingdom age that manifests nothing but blessing and inheritance. Now anyone, anyone, if they believe God's word, anyone may inherit the kingdom of God in the flesh right now because the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 has been given to one and all of mankind. The one world religion has been born and it is Chrislam. That is the name that God has given Israel their, their post kingdom age covenant days and uh, so praise God let the body of Christ now welcome this manifested prophecy of the most high Lord God 
Muhammad wrote, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon uh, the gospel, the law, and all revelation coming to you from your Lord. And uh, Peter admonished, said this, concerning anything dealing with prophecy, it must be inspected most carefully and all that is good embraced. If people believe the message and the understanding and the definition that the Lord has given me to give the world, if people would believe that, it would bring nothing but kingdom age peace. And all those opposed to me are spitting at Christ and would be antichrist. So uh, praise the Lord that uh, this has been happening so people might realize that the fruit of the Lord's tree of life, uh, the leaves, this is a reflection of that. And all the videos that I am doing are a reflection of the tree of life for healing of the nations so that mankind can live and play together and not throw sand in the sandbox at one another anymore so that all people can be born again to shift their love into a, a verb kind of a, a, a awakening love. So awake, O oh, thou sleeper. And it's time to finally comprehend uh, that blessed are the ones who takes all of what I am saying unto heart for the foretold time of kingdom age love now beginning is dawn, has dawned. And I am the one who was foretold as an alcoholic. Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine. The alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. And uh, I am already as greedy as hell and I shall never be satisfied as I embraced all people of the earth unto myself where our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. That is foretold. And I am the derelict of Zechariah 3, the one who is sniffing glue. The Bible is true, and God has known all since the beginning. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The lion has roared. Who can but prophesy?